Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So today we've got one system from the user Nick118 in Discord, so a massive thank you to them for sending in their system. Their system is called the Enora System plus Nearby Star Systems. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what they have prepared for us. So, let's uh, go in Workshop this one, yeah, alright, um, where are we? There it is, okay, cool, cool. Right, Enora Brown Dwarf System with some nearby stars. Okay, cool. So, what have we got? Ah, okay. So, let's check out this system first here, what we got. Okay, so first up, got a star. Quite large, 0 0.6 AU. Also got the first planet here. So, very hot. That looks to be a red giant sort of star there. See, it's about 1 AU in size. So, pretty big. Then we've also got this planet out here, gas giant. So 89 degrees temperature on this one. Okay. Zooming out more, we have got this object, an all blue one. It's got a lot of moons. A lot, a lot of them. So all micro asteroids by the looks of it. Yep. A few, uh, few larger ones in there as well, but okay. So there's all of those. Okay, zooming out. Okay, so where are we going next? I guess we'll go to this blue star here. This one's 0 0.4 AU, so this is a pretty big one. It's very luminous. Maybe it's like an O-type star. I mean, it's pretty... Yeah. Whoa. Oh, do we want to load? Come on. Ah, oh, the game's froze. What's this? Oh. Whoa. What was that all about? just want to head over here whoa is there some really laggy thing what is going on here right um well it's a star and oh this is very unusual in terms of lag i don't know what he's got in this system and we got this object here as well whoa it does not like this system is this some like massive load of rings or something what what is causing this yeah um so all that lag for that, just a normal planet with one moon. I don't get how that's laggy. <laughs> There's no rings or anything. That's so weird. All of that for that, that doesn't make sense. Okay, next time we've got this subject over here. Hopefully less lag over here. There we go, that's weird. Okay. So this one also has uh, some planets around it, all hot ones. Here we are. Oh, we've already been here. This is where we first started. <laughs> No, we need to go to this. Is this the one we just checked out? I've lost uh, lost where we were now. Yeah, that yeah, we we went to these. That was one we just visited as well. So we need to go to this one. Small red dwarf looking star here. Okay, here we go. Well, it says it's a red dwarf, is it? Looks more like a brown dwarf. Looks like there's an object inside this. What is that all about? What? That's bizarre. I guess he's using this as a brown dwarf um, just to have so it has a hatchable zone. I think that's what he's doing here. Okay. So there are the planets. Got a hatchable world here. Or well, supposedly hatchable. It's minus 69 degrees. This planet over here. And another brown dwarf here as well, with a Earth-like world around it. Okay. Cool, cool. Okay, jumping off. Next up, we have got K.Y. Keto's Major. <laughs> That's all alone. It's a very large star, 9 AU. That's huge. We have another star over here. That's also got one object around it as well. Whoa. Hmm. Okay, and then that is... Is that everything? Anything out? Oh, that's, that's everything. Uh, if we have a look here, there's our lineup. So it's all those asteroids around that blue planet and the rest of what we've all just checked out. So that was a very, very short system. 
Okay. So, anyways, we'll finish it off, and I'll um, what I'll do is, I will get another um, so I'll get another system installed right now. So, what we'll do is, um, we got another system from Emmanuel Garcia. So what we'll do is we'll throw this in the game as well. We'll do a double whammy in this episode because that first one was really really short. So. There we are, but yeah, a massive thank you to Nick118 for sending uh, that system in as well. But with all, further, uh, with all that said and done as well, let's move on to the next system of today's episode. So that is from yeah, Emmanuel Garcia, the Connor system. So before we do that, let's just get a line up all the objects here. So yeah, mainly just stars with a couple of planets around them. So yeah, they all are there. So we'll go ahead and, let's go ahead and move on. So this one is in a simulation. So there it is, Connor system. Let's see what we've got in here. Okay, right. So, second system of the day. A Connor system is a star system located approximately at least 42 light years away from the solar system in the right of it. The star itself, Connor, is an F-type star, specifically a FV4 or F4V star, and as well as having 30% more mass than the sun, it is orbited by six planets, which five out of six of them are gas giants, while the last two are massive terrestrials. The star system itself is around 1.05 1 billion, 1 billion years old, and six, 5 out of 6 objects have moons as well. You can find that out by simply going to the last planet of the system. More details about this star can be easily revealed by going to all the objects here. Okay, cool. So the star itself, there is Connor, so larger than the sun, like he said. Okay. Cool, cool. So next up we've got first of the planets. Hot gas giant, no moons, all alone. Eight masses of Jupiter there as well. So that's a big mass you've got close to the star there. Next plan out, we got Abren over here. So very fancy disco-like objects in here. All fancy colours. So it's got some moons as well. All fully customised. Hey, that was looking pretty cool. Also got this moon here as well. Interesting stuff. Okay. And the third moon. There's that one. Alrighty. Next up, we have got this green one. So, also with a set of moons. I do quite like the way that one looks. Pretty cool stuff there. Okay. And then also over here. Looking good. So, a pink and white one there. And then with one more uh, moon around that as well. Moon of the Moon. Okay, moving on. We have got Preston over here. So yeah, very exotic colours in here, like a disco, disco coloured system. All fancy colours in here. So the system of many colours. Look at this. I mean, every single one of them, all fancy. That one's got a few craters on it. Got one with a thicker atmosphere here. Let's have a little look underneath it. There it is. Okay. Very nice. Okay, zooming out again. Next planet out. Tysonic. That's a really cool looking gas giant. Yellow, the white, and the green. So we've got another moon there. This one's got some weird design on it. Look at that. It's like cratered up. All the craters on it. Massive theme. Massive line of objects are bashed into that. Also got another fancy moon there. We'll make them as big as you can see in there. And we got this one. And this one as well. Oh, what's going on here? Huh. Okie dokie. Next up we got this one. Okay. So there's another asteroid there. So these are all asteroid moons, by the way. Even the asteroid moons have got fancy colours on as well. <laughs> there we are. And then lastly, Zarus over here. It's a yellow and dark blue mar maroon indigo shade. Okay. This also has a, another uh, gas giant moon orbit, or 
binary orbs in it with a tiny moon of itself as well. Okay. And that appears to be all of the planets. So, interesting stuff. So, we're quite far away from the star of these guys as well. I mean, how far away is this? So, 63 AU. It's trip double Neptune distance plus a bit more. So, really crazy stuff. Okay. That one's got a big crater on it. Yeah, there we are. But yeah, there we go. So that does it for the Connor system as well. So two quite short systems for today's episode, but I hope you guys have enjoyed it uh, nonetheless. So yeah, the first system was from Nick118, and the second system from Emmanuel Garcia. So a big thank you to them for uh, sending this system in. And with that all said and done, guys, I hope you've all enjoyed it. And with that all said and done, yeah, make sure you all have a great day. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you.